so let us start our video here i create a new folder called swiper slider and next i'm going to open my vs code here and my vs code has opened so here i'll create three new files in the html which is our html file then style.css to add css then app.js to add javascript so in index.html file i'll first put the border plate then i'll create a title called swiper.js then next i'm going to link my html and css files then i'll use script src app.js and our files is now successfully created so here i'll search for swiper.js then i'll open swiper.js.com so in the main page you get a preview of swiper.js so i'll click get started to install swiper.js so i'm going to copy the link tag and paste it in my head tag then next i'm going to copy the script tag and paste it in my body so now our swiper.js files is successfully loaded so here you get a boilerplate of swiper.js so I'll copy the boilerplate and paste it in my index.html file. Then I'll also copy the stylings and paste it in my CSS files. And now I'll start my live server. So if you want to install live server, then you can visit extensions tab and search for live server. Then you can install it. So I'll click go live to start my live server and my live server has started. But you don't get anything here, you get only some arrows and slide one. So to make it working, I'll copy the JavaScript file and paste it in my app.js. And now we get a slider. But this slider is horizontal to make it. But this slider is vertical to make it horizontal. You can use direction horizontal. And now we get horizontal slider so you can also remove the scroll bar so i'll comment the scroll bar and scroll bar div and now you don't get scroll bar anymore so i'll add some stylings to my body so before that i'll wrap everything inside section tag and now we get all this viper content inside the section tag so first i'll use body and i'll add background here so i'll use background Hashtag 6332F6 Then we get a purple background As you can see here Then next I'll add dot swiper text align center to make the text center Then next I'll style the swiper slide So I'll use dot swiper slide background hashtag FFF which is white color and now we get white color slider so i'll add some more stylings to it i'll use display flex i'll add item center then justify content center and now we get everything in center then if you use border radius 5 pixels then you get the border radius and so you can also add transition so i'll use transition 0.5 second linear and as you can see here we get a transition effect so now we created a simple slider and this slider looks good so i can add some more effects to it i'll open the demo page of swiperjs.com to see all the demos and i'll go down and go to effect page so in this slider you get fade effect you can also use fade effect cube effect cover flow, flip, cards and creative. There are many other effects also. So if you want more effects then you can use other plugins. So now I'll use effect fade here. I'll use effect colon fade. Then now we get fade effect and this looks cool. Then if you use effect cube we get cube effect so now here we get a 3d slider and this 3d slider also looks good so if you open this 
inside a mobile view then you get a touchable slider in mobile too so swiper js also support so swiper js also supports mobile mode so next let us try some other effect such as cover flow effect so i'll use effect cover flow then we get cover flow effect so if you remove the width of dot swiper then you get a bigger cover flow effect then if you use apex flip then you get flip effect here as you can see then if you use card effect you get card effect so card effect is my favorite effect favorite effect so while again add 100 pixels and we get a smaller slider so card effect is one of my favorite effects in swiper jazz then if you use effect creative then you get creative effect so to use this effect you have to remove the width from the style shape so i'll use effect cards here for default effect so you can also change the theme of this so if i use colon root swiper theme color then hashtag so you get default colors here so as you can see here we get custom color of bullets and the slider so you have to use body overflow hidden and to hide the scroll bar and now if we use the slider we don't get scroll bar anymore so you can also add dynamic bullets so to use dynamic bullets you have to use dynamic bullets colon true inside the page nation section and now we get dynamic bullets and this looks good so you can also add custom font here I'll use i'll go to fonts.google.com and i'll select poppins font so i already selected it i'll copy the style sheet i'll use import tag and i'll use font family too so i'll use font family poppins and serif and paste it inside my body tag and now we get custom font so you can also add some images and some buttons here such as I'll add a button, button, hello, I am a button, then I'm going to style it, I'll use button, padding, and pixels, and now, and now we get a button, so if you use flex, direction, column, you get everything in column view, so I'll add button, background, hashtag f 63 f6 then borders style solid then outline none and here you get a button so if you add border none then you don't get border here then border radius 4 pixels color hashtag fff which is white color then curves of point and now as you can see we get a style button and this button looks good so i'll use font family poppins inside this button too to get a custom font so i'll use button colon over background a color which is darker than the background of the button and now if i hover the button I get a darker background and this button looks good so here we created a simple slider so this is how you can create slider using Swiper JS. so that's it for this video if you like this video then share the friends and don't forget to subscribe code 2 i'll see you in the next video until then bye bye